Let's solve an interesting problem in gravity. So we have Earth, and this is a sort of, uh, it's called Gendankan experiment. Einstein used to call thought experiments, a Gendankan experiment. Uh, well, not experiment, actually. It's just a Gendankan problem, uh, so a thought problem. So what we have, we have this Earth, and in the Earth, we dig a tunnel through, through the center of the Earth. So we, we dig a tunnel so that it passes through center of the earth and at one side of the tunnel we have a ball of small mass m and we drop it. So we know this ball is going to drop, fall down into the tunnel because there is a force of gravity acting and it reaches here. When it reaches here we know that it will have some velocity so it will keep moving forward and it keeps moving forward we know now gravity now is tr will try to bring it back to the center of the earth. So it reaches to the, up to the next, I mean, other part of the tunnel, and here the velocity goes back to zero again. And then it does the same thing all over again and again. So it performs a simple harmonic motion. Now it certainly performs some motion, but how do we know it's a simple harmonic motion? So let's see what's happening here. Uh, first of all, if you recall, the force of gravity for at any radius r, we know is given as um, g, M E, we already have proved this. G M E M R, well not capital R, G M E M R divided by R E cube. This is the formula we have. Where R is the distance from the center of the earth. Okay, now this looks very familiar to the case F equals KX, right? You can put a minus sign because you know if you're you're taking r to be away from the center of the earth and force is towards the center of the earth you can put a negative sign if you want but this negative sign is just for the sake of having the right directions anyway so this is fg so we can clearly see this is nothing but a simple harmonic motion but in fact a spring mass system with which is following this kind of equation and we remember from our spring mass system, omega squared is root square root of k over m. What is k in this case? For this equation, we can see that k is nothing but g m e m over r e cube. So, ome well, this is just omega. So, omega for this system is going to be, let's put the value of k, which is, which is g m e m over R E cube divided by M which is nothing but G M E over R E cube. So this is the, the angular velocity by which this guy oscillates up and down. 